What's up guys, today I'm going to go through how to create this really cool trail effect. So here's my raw video clip which I'm going to add the effect to. So the first thing I want to do is remove the background or just use parts of the subject to create the trail effect. So for this video clip, because the subject has red clothing on, I'm just going to use the red clothing to create the trail effect. And there's multiple ways to get rid of the background of a video. You could use the scene removal mask or you could use a key effect or there's another technique which I'll go through at the end of the video. So to start off with, what I'm going to do is go over to my effects tab and I'm going to go down to the mask and keying and I'm going to use the green screen keyer on this. So on the green screen keyer, I'm going to click the sample color and select the red portion and then go to invert mask and adjust the setting so that I'm just left with the red clothing and then I'm going to go to my effects and search for the trails effect and I'm going to drag the trails effect onto that video clip and then I'm also going to search for the visual echo effect and I'm going to adjust the settings on the trails I'm going to put the duration quite low and the echoes at the highest at 30 and then on the visual echo I'm going to put the leave the amount sort of where it is and the duration I'm going to put up slightly to try and smoothen out these echoes even more, what I'm going to do is speed up my video clip by 1% and then also go down, go to the retime button here, go to video quality and click optical flow. So this will smooth out the echoes even more. And then what I'm going to do is select this and export this, go up here to my export button and I'm going to export the file and I'm going to go to the settings and go to format video, video only. And then for the video codec, I want to choose the Apple ProRes 4444. This way it's going to export without a background and then click next. And I'm going to export this because it's going to make the trails look a lot better. And it's also going to make the editing process a lot quicker. If you try and add all of these effects, Final Cut Pro will really struggle to render them out. And it's just going to take a lot longer to edit the video. So once the video is rendered out, I'm going to bring it back into Final Cut Pro and put it over the top of my original video clip. And then on the original video clip, I'm going to delete the effects I added and also just reset the time on that. So now we have this very small like trail effect on the video. What I'm going to do is add some more effects to this. So I'm going to add the trails effect onto this and set the duration to one and the echoes to 30. And then I'm going to add the visual echo effect. So now we have a longer trail the next thing I'm going to do is go to blend mode and set the blend mode to screen, which gives it a bit more of a glowy look. And then I'm going to go to the color board up here and I'm going to add a color curves. And this is where we can change the color and look of the trail. So I'm going to add some contrast and then I'm going to play around with the curves and just try and create a trail that I like the look of. So next I'm going to add a glow effect to this and tweak the settings so that we get a nice glow to this. Then I'm going to add a distortion effect. I'm going to add the underwater effect and I'm going to change the settings on this. I'm going to put the speed right down to around about three. I'm going to put the size up to 10, the refraction to around about 20 odd. Next effect I'm going to add is this edges effect. And if you have the effects expansion pack that I released on my website, then you'll have all of these extra effects you can add and use in Final Cut Pro. I'd highly recommend checking out this pack. This effects pack is great for doing advanced effects like this. So I'm going to use the edges effect from this pack and you'll see it just adds these edges. And what we can do is go to the mix and change the mix so that we get these edges. Or I could copy and paste the video and add this effect to the copy. So that's looking pretty cool now. I might try and change the colors slightly. I'd say that looks pretty good. I could even go and add some more effects to try and give this more of a glitchy look. I'm going to add on the chromatic distortion, which just emphasizes all of the trail slightly. That's looking pretty good. The last effect I'm going to add is to this bottom layer video clip. And I'm gonna to go to the effects expansion pack again, and I'm going to add the bump map effect to this. And I'm going to go up to the parameters and click on the drop zone. And I'm going to use the trail as the bump map, click apply clip. And then if I go up to the amount, 
If I turn this up and down, you can see it adds a distortion to the background using the trail as a bump map. And then I can also change the direction of this as well, which also just adds to the effect. And yeah, that's pretty much the finished effect. A final step that I did, which I think makes the effect look slightly better, is I completely isolated my subject and created a new layer for that so that the energy trail was behind the subject the whole time instead of being in front of the subject like here you can see it's in front so I'm going to go through how I did that so I'm going to disable my trails layer I'm going to disable the effect on the original video clip and then I'm going to select it and I'm going to go up to my export button and I'm going to go to export image sequence. If you don't have this export image sequence, you can go to add destination and then you can use the image sequence here and just drag that into your destinations and then go back to export and it should just be there. So I'll go to export image sequence and I'll go to PNG file as the export, click next and save that to my desktop. So once we have all the images saved, they'll be in a folder and we have all of the images saved. So I'm going to press command A to select all of the images and then just right click and go to open with preview. So now what I can do in preview is select all of my images on the side here, pressing command A and then go up to tools and go to remove background. And I think I'm pretty sure this feature is only available for on Ventura or above. So now we have all of the images with the background removed. So what I can do is just close this and, and then that will save all of my images so I can select all of them and drag them into Final Cut Pro down into the timeline and then right click, go to change duration. And I'm going to press one on the keyboard and one should show there and then press enter which will put them all into one frame long. And then I'm going to right click, go to new compound clip, select okay. And then I can drag this over my, on top of my two videos here, re-enable the trails layer. So now the trails effect sits behind the subject instead of kind of in front of it. And there's a few frames where the background didn't remove, but we can go in and mask those out pretty easily. And I think that looks a little bit better. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. I'll leave the link to all of the effects I use down in the description if you want to check those out. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you liked it and I'll see you in the next one.